Okay, my name is Denise Booth. I'm the Employee Benefit Supervisor for Los Rios. We have several presenters today and a lot of information to cover, so we'll be going fairly quickly through the material. By now, all regular employees should have received the pink packet containing the open enrollment memo and benefit guide, and open enrollment actually started on Monday. Paperwork is required for all regular employees. Each person will have one or two forms to turn in, even if they aren't making any enrollment changes this year. The dependent eligibility blue form shows current medical, dental, and vision coverage elections for you and any covered dependents. Even those not covering dependents will receive this form. Please confirm the information is correct and return the form via intercampus mail addressed to Employee Benefits Department at the district office. The medical plan waiver form is for employees who are not currently enrolled in a Los Rios medical plan. These forms were sent directly to employees, so you should have received one or both forms depending on your situation, and nothing is required from adjunct faculty at this time. Original election forms are required for anyone making an election or a change. Please be sure that your forms are received in the Employee Benefits Department by the deadline. For open enrollment, the deadline is 5 p.m. on Friday, May 27th. Postmarks and scanned and emailed forms or faxes and placement in campus mail do not qualify as meeting the deadline. The original forms actually need to be in the Employee Benefits Office by the deadline or they will not be accepted. New hires have 31 days from the start date to turn in paperwork, and adjunct faculty have until August 23rd for fall benefits or February 10th for spring. Again, late forms will not be accepted, and there are no exceptions, so please don't wait until the last minute to get your paperwork in. Changes made during open enrollment take effect July 1st and are set for the entire plan year of July 1st through June 30th. Benefits for new hires take effect the first of the month following the date of hire or the date of hire if hired on the first work day of the month. And adjunct faculty benefits begin September 1st for fall benefits and March 1st for spring. The 2016-17 district contribution is as follows. It's $1,168.27 a month for LRCFT and SEIU employees and $1,130.16 a month for LRCEA, confidential employees, supervisors, and managers. Part-time employees with a permanent assignment of less than 50% and adjunct faculty members have a prorated district contribution that is based on your FTE. Our medical and dental rates are composite, which means the rate you pay will not change if you are covering eligible family members. All benefit elections you make are also evergreen elections, which means they roll from year to year and will remain in effect until you make a change. The only exception is the flexible spending accounts in the fall. You cannot make a change after open enrollment or after your election period is ended unless you have a mid-year qualifying event that would allow you to make a change, such as birth of child or marriage. If you do have a mid-year event, you have only 31 days to have your original forms in the Employee Benefits Department or you must wait until the next open enrollment period to make the change. So these are the rates <clears throat> for medical and dental coverage for LRCFT and SEIU employees. Kaiser is $96 a month. Sutter Health Plus is $112.51. WHA HMO is $37.22. And Kaiser's DHMO Western Health Advantages, 1800 HSA HMO, and the Delta Dental Plan all have no monthly employee contribution. The tenthly equivalent is listed in the far right column. And remember, for part-time employees and adjunct faculty, the district contribution is prorated based on your FTE. And for LRCEA, confidential employees, supervisors, and managers, here are the medical and dental rates. For Kaiser, it's $134.11 a month. Kaiser's DHMO is $15.99. Sutter Health Plus is $150.62. Western Health Advantage's HMO is $75.33. And then for the Western Health Advantage 1800 HSA HMO and Delta Dental, there is no monthly employee contribution. 
The tenthly equivalent is also listed and part-time employees have a prorated district contribution. And with that, I will turn it over to Gracie Hernandez with Kaiser. Uh, thank you, Denise. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. And just to give you some information about oops, about Kaiser's, want to give you some information about our service area. We're located in Alameda, Fresno, Sacramento, San Mateo. So just an array of service areas that you and your family can take advantage of if you're visiting family member or friends. Uh, for the Sacramento area, we have about 12 facilities. We have Roseville, Sacramento, South Sacramento. Just to give you some information about South Sacramento, we do have an urgent care clinic there that's open from 3 p.m. to midnight, open seven days a week, and also on holidays. Uh, one of the updates that we have is the copayment for our specialty medications. Used to have a copayment before, but now it's going to be 10% of the cost for up to 100 for. 10% of costs up to $100 for up to a 30-day supply. And please take advantage and look at our formulary. Sometimes the spelling, you know, if you're not much sure what the spelling is, um, I like to Google. So just Google, I'm not sure what the spelling is, and then you can also print the complete formulary online as well. Uh, residential treatment for skilled nursing facility coverage for mental health and chemical dependency, we do provide that. And the contraceptive products and services over-the-counter contraceptives are covered uh, when prescribed by your physician. If you look at the both plans, we do just a couple highlights. We do have a plan on the Kaiser HMO. There's no deductible on that one. And on the Kaiser deductible HMO, your deductible will be $500 for an individual or $1,000 for a family. Um, they're a lifetime out of pocket maximum. Think of that like a safety net. You don't have to reach that amount, but if you do reach that amount, it's going to be $1,500 for an individual or $3,000 on the Kaiser HMO or the Kaiser deductible HMO plan is $3,000 and $6,000. Uh, please take advantage of our preventative services because we keep our members healthy. Any form of like immunizations like your flu shot, pneumonia, hepatitis, mammograms, or self-referral, just walk on in. You need a referral from your doctor for that and also dermatology. Uh, emergency room is $100. Um, if it gets waived, if you get admitted to the hospital within the first 24 hours and on the deductible plan, it's 10%. And then for durable medical equipment, there is no charge on the HMO. On the deductible one is 20% after well, uh, the deductible is waived for that. Uh, please see me if you have any additional questions regarding your benefits. On your medications, please take advantage of having them mailed out to your home. Because instead of paying $10 for your generic medications on both plans, you're going to pay two copayments for up to 100 days supply. So for example, you'll pay $20 for up to 100 days supply. Uh, some medications are not available in mail order if you're taking a medication that needs to be refrigerated. Unless you're diabetic, they will mail you out your insulin, ice, ice chest, or a narcotic. You're going to need to see your doctor first. Uh, we really strive to keep our members healthy. Uh, we do provide video visits, so that's going to save you a co-payment. Please take advantage of that. Uh, next time you make an appointment, you're talking to advice nurse, ask them if your appointment's available in a video visit. You can do FaceTiming or Skyping with your doctor. Uh, you can refill your medications online. You can email your physicians. You know, also get your most recent lab results as well. And they will mail you out a hard copy of your lab results. And if you are traveling, you are covered outside of Kaiser for emergency and urgent care. Uh, one, one quick thing about the electronic medical record, just to give you uh, some information. I have a grandson who has asthma, who has it really bad. And I was running around frantic trying to get what kind of asthma medication he took. And I had to go get an electronic medical record because my dad decided to give him Halls. I said, that's not, that Halls is not going to cure the asthma. So please take advantage because you never know when you're going to run into an emergency. <laughs> and then we do provide individual transferred uh, for dependents living in Southern California. They'll have a dedicated Kaiser number for Southern California, but also a Northern California number. Dual coverage update, just to let you know, currently, if you have dual coverage, you waive uh, all your co-payments. Uh, we're going to be implementing a new claim system. We're still not sure how that's going to work, but once we pr uh, find out more detailed information, I'll make sure you get that information. Anybody have any questions? Okay, please feel free to see me afterwards. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Alicia Aguilar. I'm the account manager with Sutter Health Plus for Los Rios Community College District. We're very pleased to be offered again for the 7-1-2016 renewal. I think this is year three with Los Rios, so we're very pleased to be here again. 
Going to review quickly just some updates for 2016, beginning with our service area expansion, which occurred in October of 2015. <clears throat> this applies to you if you have dependents who are in the Bay Area. Prior to last October, um, the Bay Area was considered out of network. So if you have dependents living in that area now, they can access primary and specialty care in the Bay, specialty care in the Bay Area. If you wish to change a primary care physician, um, and your dependent is under the age of 18, you can do that as their parent from, by calling member services or also by now um, primary care changes are now um, available from the member portal. If your dependent is over the age of 18, the primary care change would have to be made by that dependent who's over the age of 18. Um, just a quick update with just a general update about Sutter Health Plus in general. Um, in 2015, our membership nearly tripled in size. We began 2015 in January um, with about 8,300 members, and we ended the year with over 30,000 members. So we're very pleased and proud and happy to see growth in our company as well as um, with our service area expansion. We were able to increase the number of providers and hospital campuses as well as urgent cares that are now considered in-network. And new this year is our walk-in clinics, which I'll be reviewing um, in just a few minutes. A quick update on some of our member tools and resources. Um, we offer a full range of pharmacy benefits, which in January 1 of 2016, this year, regardless of renewal, this was a change that was across the board where Sutter Health Plus changed uh, pharmacy benefits manager. This is the vendor which we use to um, help provide um, and all of our pharmacy benefits. So um, last fall, all of our members did receive a notification and a letter um, letting them know that we were going to be changing um, pharmacy benefit manager. Then we um, then we launched um, member specific letters for folks that maybe had um, a pharmacy disruption, disrup pharmacy formulary disruption. So whether you were on a medication, and as of January, that tier level change for that prescription, meaning your copay maybe went up or down. Those members received letters um, and notifications that that was going to occur on January 1st. And then in mid-December, all of our members received new cards. So this is important that you just do a quick check on your card to make sure that the pharmacy information on your card says MedImpact, not OptumRx. Uh, MedImpact is um, the new pharmacy benefits manager, and all of those numbers are needed by the pharmacy in order to process your prescriptions. Also, our formulary did make some changes so um, if you wanted to check our formulary to see what changes may have applied to you um, you can go to our website um, and go to the pharmacy tab which is now new and you can access our formulary um, the PDO which is the prescribed drug list as well as the med impact portal <clears throat> Also updated as of September of 2015 was our member portal, which we launched with enhanced, been, um, with enhanced functionality to include now from the member portal, you can make primary care physician changes, change requests, as well as request new ID cards. So if you lose one, you don't have to call member services. If you don't want to, you can log into the member portal and make those requests from the portal. The portal now, you can access all of your benefit information. So if you can't remember what your copay is, or if you wanted to check your deductible or out-of-pocket maximum, all of your um, accumulators are online, as well as just a description of everyone who's covered underneath your plan. The member portal can be accessed from SutterHealthPlus.org um, from the member tab. A new update we have is Sutter Health, Sutter Health launched the new walk-in clinics, which replaced Sutter Express Care Clinics. So Sutter Health had a partnership with Rite Aid where we were taking some of their retail space for a walk-in clinic, and that relationship did sunset, and now we've opened our new clinics. They're located in Roseville in Elk Grove. The hours are 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. It's a walk-in clinic, convenient, no appointment necessary, and you can access primary care um, as well as like urgent care type um, um, medical care there. Um, we also have opened a location in El Dorado Hills where previously we didn't have a whole lot of coverage up in that area, so now we have an outpatient facility up in El Dorado Hills. 
Um, this year for our renewal, we are offering the same plan. Um, it's the $10 copay plan, so I won't review that um, very closely. The benefit documents are in the open enrollment packets as well as we're here today to answer any questions you may have about your benefits. Thank you. All right. My name is Brian Christie. I'm with Western Health Advantage. <clears throat> we're really excited to be entering our third year with the Los Rios Community College District and all the um, different campuses that you, that you uh, currently offer us at. Um, for those of you not familiar, Western Health Advantage is a local HMO, nonprofit, owned and operated by the provider groups UC Davis, Mercy Medical Group, and North Bay Physician. In total, our, net, our network also encompasses Hill Physicians, Woodland Clinic, uh, Meritage Medical Network. In total, it's about 3,200 physicians and specialists, as well as 14 hospitals available to our members. What is so unique, though, about uh, us being an HMO, um, since we are provider-owned and sponsored, we have the flexibility to allow our members to go between our contracted medical groups for specialty care. It's unique to us because we have multiple medical groups and we want our members to have a diverse listing of doctors to choose from. So if you are picking a primary care, do understand that under our Advantage referral, if you're seeking specialty care outside of your medical group, um, look at the entire umbrella of providers under the Western Health uh, Advantage network. <clears throat> as I mentioned, each of the medical groups, um, there are applicable hospital systems as well. So UC Davis works with the Med, Med Center. If you're a Hill Physicians member or a uh, Dignity Health Mercy member, you're going to be using the Mercy system of hospitals specific to Sacramento. Um, and then down into Solano County, we have Fairfield and um, Vaca Valley Hospital uh, to our members. Now, the plans that Los Rios chose have not changed at all, and you have an awesome selection. You have our traditional plan, which is going to be a $15 office visit with 100% hospitalization, so no cost sharing whatsoever in the hospital. Um, and alternative to that would be our high deductible 1800 plan. This particular plan has an out-of-pocket and a deductible that match. So that means if you're an individual, you have an $1,800 deductible. If you hit that deductible, you are done for the calendar year. That means out-of-pocket and deductible are the same. Uh, do understand, uh, Los Rios runs on a, um, their plan year runs July through June. Accumulation on these plans operates on a calendar year basis. That means that your out-of-pocket exposure resets on January 1st. So it's something to consider with uh, any plan changes you might be considering throughout the year. Um, a wonderful value add that this both of these plans uh, provide our membership is going to be our chiropractic and our acupuncture benefit. It's something that's not common with a lot of health plans, but with WHA you have up to 20 visits of chiropractic and up to 20 visits of acupuncture treatment um, at a flat $15 copayment per visit. You do not need to seek a primary care visit um, or authorization. You simply find a practitioner that is part of the Landmark Healthcare Network and you can do that either by going online to their website or by contacting their member services department. And they'll be more than happy to help you find the correct um, setting for you. You show up, you pay your $15 copayment. They take care of any authorizations and treatment plan for you. So it's a really cool alternative therapy. Now, both of the plans have a prescription drug benefit to them. And um, we use a company called Express Scripts. Uh, nation, one of the nation's largest benefit man or prescription benefit managers available, so that means the network is available to you. Lots of doc or lots of uh, facilities, clinics, large chains available to pick up your prescription. On the traditional plan, you're going to have a flat $10 copayment for generic, $30 copayment for a brand name drug, or $50 for your non-preferred drug. So we leave it up to your doctor to determine what the right prescription is for your condition. On the high deductible plan, you will be paying the full contracted rate for that drug until you hit your out-of-pocket exposure or your deductible, um, at which point you'll be picking up your prescriptions at no additional cost. It will be covered under at 100% since your deductible has been satisfied. Now, um, with WHA, we are in a uh, regional carrier. That means that outside of the Sacramento and our contractor region, there are no contracted doctors, but you're always going to be covered for urgent or emergent care no matter where you are in the world. Uh, we have a free program as well to you called Assist America. Now, Assist America works on your behalf to find the correct clinic setting or hospital setting, um, guarantee hospital admittance, as well as work to get your claims forwarded back into network um, so that you can get treated and be on your way. Um, Assist America is a free service to you, so if you are enrolled or considering enrollment with Western Health, 
there's a second ID card that comes right next to your primary ID card um, in your enrollment packet. Put it in your wallet. It's a wonderful service to you, um, and it's going to be your advocate when you're out of your comfort zone or out of your primary care's um, general service area. Um, new to WHA this year, though, is our My WHA Wellness. It's a full assortment of wellness tools and resources um, online through the member portal. Um, the member portal is going to be your um, source to everything Western Health Advantage. So you'll be able to uh, look at your, um, your plan information, look up new doctors, um, but more importantly, with the online portal, it's going to be where you check to ensure your claims are getting forwarded to WHA. So if, you have, if you're the type of person that enrolled on the uh, 1800 or the high deductible plan, this is going to be your source of truth to ensure that you're getting deductible credit for those claims uh, and that you're not just paying providers for services that were never billed um, to your deductible. Um, in addition to uh, that information through that portal, we strongly encourage all of our members to talk to their primary care office about online access as well as um, app-based access. Each of our provider groups has their own preferred online system or app so that you have the flexibility and freedom to converse with your doctor online, set appointments, um, check your lab results. Uh, so it's, it's really important. WHA does not want to stand in between the care that you receive between you and your doctor. So we want to make sure that their technology bases are working for your situation. And as I mentioned before, online is where you're going to ensure that your out-of-pocket expenses are being applied to your deductible. I'll be available afterwards at the table, so please be open to any questions. All right. Thank you very much for your time. All right. It's my turn again. And I'm actually going to be talking about the health savings account for employees who participate in the Western Health Advantage 1800 HSA, they actually have the potential to fund a health savings account. So um, the Western Health Advantage 1800 HSA is a high deductible health plan. And um, in order to fund a health savings account, you have to participate in a, a high deductible health plan. Um, participation in such a plan is regulated by the IRS and enrolling in that high deductible health plan makes you potentially eligible to fund an HSA. Funding an HSA is completely optional. You don't have to open or fund an HSA, but enrolling in that high deductible health plan makes you, again, potentially eligible to fund it. So enrolling in the high deductible health plan is the first hurdle that you would have to go over in order to fund an HSA, but there are others like not being enrolled in Medicare and not having a non-high deductible health plan such as a full medical FSA or dual coverage on a traditional HMO. So you're probably wondering then what's the big deal and why would I want to fund a health savings account? Well, let's talk a little bit about that. A health savings account is basically a bank, bank account. It's a savings account that's funded using pre-federal tax dollars. You can set aside pre-federal tax dollars to pay for qualified expenses such as medical, dental, and vision expenses. And notice that I mentioned that it covers more than just medical expenses. Um, that's because the HSA isn't tied really to the medical plan. You just have the ability to fund it because of the enrollment in the high deductible health plan, but you can use the funds that are in the HSA for more than just medical expenses. One nice thing about the health savings account is that it rolls from year to year. There are no use it or lose it provisions on a health savings account. And as you can see, the funding cap for 2016 is higher than the deductibles mentioned by WHA. You can fund more to the HSA than you need in the deductible. So why else would you be interested in a health savings account? Well, the premium for the plan is less than the district contribution. So there is a district contribution toward your HSA based on the coverage you have on the high deductible health plan. So this is for regular employees who open an HSA through Basic Pacific. If they are covered on the Western Health Advantage 1800 HSA and they have single coverage, they could have $100 a month put into the health savings account on their behalf, and then $150 a month if you cover at least one family member. 
This district contribution to the HSA is prorated for part-time employees. Adjunct faculty can have an HSA and fund it via payroll deduction, but there is no district contribution at this time. We do have a um, workshop that was done earlier this year that was recorded, and it was conducted by Karen Rowe, an account executive at Basic Pacific. If you're interested in the HSA, I strongly encourage you to watch the presentation. You, uh, you do need all of the information on the plan so you can make an informed decision. And if you enroll in the high deductible health plan through WHA, we actually require that you watch the video to ensure you have all the information that you need. Does anybody have any questions about the HSA? All right, well with that, I'll hand it over to Ryan from Delta Dental. Good afternoon, my name is Ryan Neese. I'm the account manager for Delta Dental. Delta Dental has a, what's called a PPO Plus Premier program here at the college. Uh, actually, you can utilize two different networks. One of them is a, a bit of a hidden network, but it actually encompasses over 92% of the dentist. It's a very old network. It doesn't save a lot of money. Out of, out of uh, your program, though, I would highly suggest you actually utilize PPO providers whenever possible. You were able to see, able to utilize $2,200 uh, worth of a calendar max every calendar year, and you have four cleanings. It's a, actually an incentive program where you start off at 70%. Every year you utilize it, it goes up 10%. Now, on the out of network, it also, like I mentioned before, has an encompass a secondary network that we don't utilize or talk about a lot too much anymore, but it's called the Premier Network. And in Sacramento County, roughly 92% of the dentists are part of that. Many of those dentists are also PPO dentists. So if you utilize either one of those dentists, it's considered a contractual agreement and you'll never be balanced billed. Cannot be balanced billed. Um, when you see a utilized network, basically if a dentist submits a bill for $100 and we say they only paid $80, they have to write off the additional $20. You can go anywhere you want because it is a PPO program. So you can see if out a network provider. In the state of California, like I mentioned, there's roughly less than 8% of all the providers that do not contract with us. So you can be a little bit hard pressed to find them, but they are out there. As with everybody in today's world, we are very technically minded. We do highly suggest that you look at your benefits online. Online, you can actually see how much money you have for the calendar year, how much money you've actually utilized. You can see what percentage level you're currently at. You can print an ID card, though Delta does not actually utilize them anymore. The providers uh, who were contracted with us actually knew to actually get your Social Security when they come in. They submit all the paperwork on your behalf and they do everything. It's part of our contract with them. We have a tool called a fee finder. Should you ever feel like you need to have major work done or you've been told that you might, but you want to get a general idea of really what it's going to cost, you can go online, put in the kind of procedure that needs to have done in that particular geographic area and it'll tell you what the average cost is. So if you're planning on having root canals or crowns done, you can kind of get a general feel for how much it's going to utilize out of your calendar maximum. Uh, claim status, we actually keep claims on there for up to five years at this point I believe now. So if you need to look back at your old claims, you can. Um, I do highly suggest you sign up for our paperless program. You'll get an email with your EOB, your evidence of benefits. That's the claim uh, reimbursement statement that says how much we paid the provider, how much you should have to pay, and what was actually written off. Uh, but you can actually have those sent via email now instead of into your mailbox. So it's one less piece of information for someone to get their hands on in a society today, regrettably, where some people like to steal identities. I highly suggest that if possible. Uh, paperless, like I mentioned, uh, we really are pushing it. Socialize with us. Uh, we are on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube. We even have an um, app that you can download onto your smartphone if you want to. It's actually pretty useful if you tend to travel a lot. We are in all 50 states and in Puerto Rico. And should you find yourself with a dental emergency because you chipped a tooth eating something in Louisiana, we can get a provider who's contracted with you so you won't have anything balanced billed to you. Questions? Okay. 
Hi there, I'm Avalon Waldron. I'm with Epic Brokers, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the vision plan available with Los Rios. Uh, there's actually uh, two vision plans, a basic and a buy-it plan. Both plans offer cost savings on vision services. Both plans cover new lenses uh, or contact lenses every year, but only one or the other. If you do need to have both, you can always um, purchase the other. Uh, if you're enrolled in the Flex spending account, you can use those Flex dollars towards that. Otherwise, you're just going to pay for it outside of the plan. The basic plan um, does only cover new frames uh, every other year, while the buy-up plan covers them every year. The basic plan will cover up to $120 allowance on frames and uh, contact lenses, whereas the buy-up plan will cover up to $150 allowance. VSP also has a special contract with certain uh, brand name um, frame vendors that, uh, where they provide a slightly higher frame allowance in some instances. Here are the prices for the two plans. This information is also available in your employee benefit guide. Uh, it is important to note uh, enrollment in these plans is 100% voluntary, also 100% paid by the employee. The district does not offer a contribution for the vision. If you do choose to enroll in the vision plan, you are making a two-year commitment and you will not be able to cancel coverage until 24 months has passed unless there's a qualified, cha uh, qualified change in the status event. Likewise, if you cancel your visit vision coverage for any reason, uh, there's a minimum 24-month waiting period before you can re-enroll. Uh, here's a partial listing of the featured brands I mentioned earlier. Additional information can be found on the VSP website. If you are enrolled in the VSP plan, there are special offers available to you, and you can go to vsp.com backslash special offers to find out more information on the, the discounts and other services that they provide. On their website, you can also uh, create an account to print a wallet, ID card to carry with you, find a provider, and uh, view your benefits and claims information. Um, and can answer any questions for you if you have any. All right, next up is Unum. Thank you, Avalon. Hello, my name is Laura Smith. I am the client manager with Unum, and we were awarded the Business for Long-Term Disability and Life Insurance this year, and we continue to be your long-term care insurance carrier. Today I'm gonna to talk about two benefits that are voluntary benefits and two benefits that are built right into your benefit package. So let's get started with long-term disability. Long-term disability is coverage that helps you should become disabled and unable to work. Uh, this is provided to employees that no cost with a permanent assignment of at least half time. You're automatically enrolled in this benefit at time of hire. So this is built right in. If you are unable to work, if you're unable to perform your normal job duties, UNUM will help to pay uh, for a portion of your income that is lost, up to 66 and two thirds percent of your income, um, up to $12,000 a month. However, in order to get access to this, you have to go through an elimination period or a deductible period of 90 days or exhaust your sick time, whichever is greater of the two. Now, how long this benefit pays out depends on what kind of employee you are. It would either pay out for a period of two years or it would pay out uh, to Social Security normal retirement age. So for me, I have no idea how long I, <laughs> I would have a benefit for, uh, but for some of us that's age 67, some of us it's age 65. The next benefit I wanna talk about is again, built into your benefit package. It's basic life insurance. Life insurance, of course, is there for final expenses. It's there to pay for a mortgage, maybe if you pass away, replace some of the income of the breadwinner. Uh, and it's also provided at no cost to employees who are on permanent assignment for at least half time. You are also automatically enrolled upon hire or when you're newly eligible. The life insurance benefit that is given to you is $50,000. It's also matched with accidental death and dismemberment. That's important. Most people before the age 65, if they pass, it's likely due to an accident. So if you think about it, if somebody were to pass away and it was due to an accident, 
their family would get $50,000 for the basic benefit and $50,000 because it was an accident. Now, later on, I'm going to talk about voluntary life insurance. During this open enrollment period, we are not enrolling the voluntary life insurance. We're doing that in the fall. So keep your eyes peeled for your opportunity to sign up for voluntary life insurance later on in the year. The basic life insurance program that is given to you is uh, able for you to take it with you. You can port or convert it. When I say convert, that means at time of separation of employment, you can either keep your term policy, which there is no cash value in that policy, or you can convert it to a whole life policy, which actually does build cash val value. There is a living benefit included in this policy, which means that if you were diagnosed to, be, to have something that is terminal, uh, your policy, you can access it while you're still living, uh, and you would have access to 100% up to $250,000. Now this is significant because you can use this money how you see fit. Okay. There is a reduction based upon your age. So as you're, you get older, your benefit will reduce. Uh, and you can see the schedule there. Voluntary life insurance. In the fall, you'll have the opportunity to sign up for coverage for yourself, your spouse, and your children on a guarantee issue, no health questions basis. This is important because this is a one-time only offer. So again, in the fall of 2016, later on, we'll be here and we will guide you through that process. But at this time, there is no action that you need to take. And the last benefit I'm gonna talk about is the long-term care policy. Long-term care is a benefit that pays out if you need assistance with everyday activities, things like bathing or dressing, or should you need assistance due to a cognitive impairment. This is a voluntary benefit that's available to you. It's also available to family members. That's important. Many people don't realize that. Rates are based upon your age at the time that you sign up for coverage. You have options of how long this policy pays out, how much it pays out, and any additional enhancements you might want to make to this policy, including growing it over time with inflation protection, or maybe you want to have the ability to have a family member take care of you at home and pay them to do so. <laughs> you can do that with this policy. There's also a caregiving exchange, just to let you know, you can go to the site LosRiosLTC.com. You can calculate rates, uh, download forms, um, and, and take a good look at this policy and send it to your family. There's some value-added services that are part of the offerings that we've talked about today. Built in, we have a Assist America, that travel assist program that you've already heard about today. And we also have an EAP service that is totally confidential. You can call in 800 number and every person that answers that phone call is master level uh, social worker. So they should be able to help you and counsel through with you. And again, it's completely confidential. Any questions about the long-term disability, the life insurance, the long-term care or any of the enhanced services? Okay, great. Hi, I'm Joy Belomo. I'm the account manager with MHN, and we are now your Enhanced Employee Assistance Program, or EAP. The EAP covers all current employees, including adjunct faculty, any people living in your household, and your pets, as you can see up there in the pictures. Okay, the Employee Assistance Program is completely confidential. It operates 24-7, 365. We're always there to answer your questions and to help you. We are fully staffed in both of our offices with uh, clinical uh, licensed uh, people to help you. Okay, we can do family counseling, marriage counseling, help you with depression, anxiety, stress, grief, any of those things and many, many more. To get help is easy, you call your 800 number, which we'll give you at the end. You're entitled to up to five sessions for any problem that comes up during the year. And to, to access those sessions, you can do either face-to-face, -face, telephonic, or web video. Web is on your smartphone, your tablet, your, com your uh, computer. We can arrange for that. You can, when you do the five sessions, you pick whether it's going to be face-to-face. -face. You can't go to face-to-face uh, -face and then the other three telephonic or anything. You stick with one, one thing the whole time, okay? We have work-life services. This is the other component. It's not restricted to five calls. You can call and, and use the services as often as you wish. 
you get child and elder care services and we will get back to you up to 12 hours after you call with a list of up to five providers in your area that meet the needs that you've discussed uh, needing with our counselors and we will guarantee that they have space available for your child or your adult. The elder care, we're nationwide, so you can use it anywhere in the country that you have elderly uh, parents or adults in your family. We have financial services. We have legal services. With legal services, you get up to 30 minutes free with an attorney on any legal issue except suing your employer. Okay, we don't do any employment law. And then you get a 25% reduction in fees if you need to see them more than that 30 minutes. Okay, so it can save you a lot of money. We can help you with identity theft. We have credit counselors. We have a whole online system that can help you uh, recover and get back in good standing. Daily living, that's where we can help you find pet sitters or uh, doggy daycare centers. We can help you with home repair information. We can find any type of services that you need in your area. One of the enhancements to this EAP program for you is a wellness tool. This is a very nice uh, program that we have. It's been developed by the Mayo Clinic. They have done, they've developed the website. They've developed all the material on the website. They've also trained all the wellness coaches. So when you go into the website starting July 1st when the plan goes into effect, you can go right into the wellness employee portal create your own private portal, you and any family and anybody living in your house, hold, create your own portal. That's where you just go in, you can track your eating, you can track your exercise, you can talk to a health coach, you can talk to them either telephonically, through email, or through instant messaging. They're there and available to help you and work with you. Uh, you can integrate your Fitbit, your Jawbone, anything else that you use to keep track of what you're doing. And there's a health assessment tool available for you. All confidential. This is for you, nobody else. We are available 24-7. This is an important number. You should put it into your smartphone. That's how you get your services. You call the 800 number and we will help you. Your website is mhn.advantageengagement.com. Your company code is LRCCD. The website does not go live until 7-1 when your plan goes live. So please don't try and get on because you'll get frustrated when you can't do it and you won't be happy. So wait and it will be worth your wait. Member brochures will be given out and they do have a tear out wallet card that has all this information printed on it that you can keep and take with you. Thank you for your time and welcome to MHN. Well, I'll wrap it up here and talk about some resources that you have available to you. We have a slew of resources available on the website for you. Open enrollment memos, guides, the recorded presentation, even this once it's finalized. Uh, the Kaiser formulary and various other links are available from our website. The recent communications page is a great place to go if you've misplaced your pink packet or if you just want to take a look um, online, that's where you can find it. All of the forms that you need for open enrollment or for um, any enrollment during the year are also available online. We have a web page that lists all of our carriers with all of their websites and telephone numbers. Epic is our broker and they host a My Benefits site for us which has another great um, set of resources and I'll show you more on that in just a bit. We also have an adjunct faculty premium calculator where if you just type in your FTE it'll show you what your, um, your employee premiums will be. The easiest way to get to our website is to go to the Los Rios primary page and under the video in the middle is a quick links drop down menu and the fourth thing on that list is employee benefits and when you click on that it brings you to our home page and you'll see on the left hand side there are um, a menu of options there and resources that you can click on on the right hand side it's all of the benefits staff and our contact information if you click on 
the active employees link under forms, you'll come to a page which has a link for all of the forms that um, are benefits related. So all the forms that you would need to make a change during open enrollment can be found right there. This is a picture of the My Benefits site. Again, this is hosted by Epic, our broker. And one of the features that they have available on their site, which is fantastic, is a compare plans feature. If you were to click on that compare plans link, you would be able to select the plans that you want to compare, and then you'll get a side-by-side, line-by-line comparison of plans. You can even look at the current year plans and compare to the next year plans and do a side-by-side -side Kaiser comparison, for example. Or you can do, here I chose, Kaiser HMO, Sutter HMO, and the Western Health Advantage HMO. There's more to it than this. I just took a little snippet of it, um, but it's nice, a nice little one-stop um, shop look at line-by-line -line comparison of the plans. Just a reminder, the open enrollment deadline is Friday, May 27th. Original forms are due in the Employee Benefits Office by 5 p.m., and just a reminder, postmarks, placement in campus mail, scanning and emailing forms and faxes do not qualify. We have to have original forms in our office by that deadline. And paperwork is required from all employees, either the dependent eligibility form during open enrollment only or the medical plan waiver form. And for new hires, paperwork is due within 31 days of hire and adjunct faculty again have the August and the February dates. And that's it. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Does anybody have any questions for me? No? Well, thank you all so much for joining us today.